Today, I'm going to show you how to use character level styling with my plugin. A lot of people have been asking about this feature lately. By the way, I just updated the plugin. You can check it again to download the latest version. Let's jump into the video. Just like usual, drag and drop your text. I'm going to customize it like this. Just like the previous version, you can change the tracking animation right here. You can also adjust the position and text color here. I've updated this button, now it clearly shows whether it's on or off. Now I'll go ahead and change the color. I recommend setting the bevel opacity to 30, that's the sweet spot. The higher it goes, the darker it gets. This color wheel is for those who want to use white text but change the glow color. If you're already using a gradient or solid color, just leave this wheel alone. Okay, let's get to the main part. I'll change this text to use a gradient first. And then go into the Fusion page. Go to Modifier's Follower, and click on the Text tab. Right-click, then choose Character Level Styling. Now you can change the font, size, or color for each character individually. I'm going to switch this to a solid color. Back in Character Level Styling, go to the Shading tab. Select Solid, and now you can choose whatever color you like. To create a layered effect, follow these steps. Create a Merge node. Copy and paste the plugin. Then connect it to the Merge node you just created. Now create a rectangle mask, just follow my steps and you'll see how it works. Place this rectangle right over the text area. Then, make a copy of the rectangle and check invert. On the plugin connected to Merge 1, add a Transform node and move it down slightly so the effect appears just above the text, like this. And that's it. Hope this helps you out. Thanks for watching, and peace out.